everyone, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So this is a house that I built, was it last week I believe? And I was talking to Ashley and we figured something out. So if you go into creative style here and right click, it randomizes it for you. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. Is we are going to be changing my house up to match the randomized colors. So Ashley figured this out. And I figured, you know what, this could be a really fun video idea. So that's what we're going to do today. So as you can see, I'm going to just go ahead and replace all of the green siding with this bright green. And I want to know, did anyone else know about this feature? Because I had no idea and I know Ashley figured it out by accident. So this could be kind of fun. I was debating here maybe... Okay, so I just went ahead and went around and did the entire outside with that green and now we're gonna hop in here to see what comes up for the stone so we're just gonna randomize both of these huh okay <laughs> i don't know what i was expecting here but it wasn't that but all right i guess that's what we're gonna go with okay so i can't change the color of that apparently for some reason i thought that you could so i guess we'll just move over here to the stairs um i'm not going to combine everything together I'm gonna with the stairs because that's not how I already have it so let's see here how do these stairs turn up okay it's an interesting color combination um if anything is like the same color like these two whites I believe are the same color I will keep them that way or I could go for full-on chaos let's go for the chaos so that's how that's ending up. I feel like that's kind of very Halloween-y. So I'm just going to go around, drag this to the other side over here. And then I'll probably do the fencing around the front porch the exact same as well. Just because I feel like that only really makes sense. Um, just because it already like matched the stairs to begin with. So let's see if I can get this to work for me. But yeah, I figured this would be just kind of a different video idea and seeing how Creatisim and the randomization of it, the Creatisim clear style and the randomization of it can really change up a build from how I had it originally designed. Which again, if you're interested in that video and you haven't seen it, feel free to click the link. I'll have it linked in the cards. But okay, let's recolor this here. There we go. Alright, so this is definitely a very interesting look. I didn't mind the actually like lime green color for the house not my favorite but it also wasn't the absolute worst and then for down here okay so we got blue and pink we have like a silver blue sort of color and we have a green and orange sort of color combination why did that not move over here huh okay that's kind of strange let me just drag and drop this over here there we go so I'm going to have to come back here and do the exact same thing. So I realized this isn't the house that I actually had like fully saved and finished. This is the one that I was building and I apparently didn't save afterwards, which is why the backyard is not finished. But I feel like it can still definitely work. Um, we just won't have as many rooms randomly like furnished and everything. But for the ones that I do have here, it will be done and it is majority of the house. I believe I have like three rooms that weren't completely done uh, for this save. So it should be okay. Alright, so okay, I just went ahead and it finished up back here. So this is what we're currently looking like. Def definitely, you know, a whole vibe. But now we're gonna go ahead and randomize the floor tiles here. Ooh, okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. It's definitely very different from what I already had and then I guess I may as well drag that in here as well just because they do connect so let's go ahead and put this in here oh. and then this is also the same so I guess we're bringing that color out here as well this is probably the worst part I've seen although I had honestly expected chaos with this video but you know it's fun to bring in challenges like this sometimes and seeing so I know I'm probably going to be having a whole time with this but I'm actually kind of excited about it okay so I just went ahead and fixed everything up in here as well so we're gonna go ahead and randomize the walls for the garage there we go so I guess we're going with some two random patterns here 
which I'm going to drag and drop down to the bottom half here as well. There we go. Alright, so I think that's everything for the garage other than the doors. So this door I'm going to probably collapse just because it is all the same color, I believe. Is it? I have to wait for it to kind of load here a bit. Yes, it is. Okay. So now if I randomize it, ooh, we're going pink. Okay. Um, this door over here, I will also do this, randomize it, we're also going pink. So apparently we have like a green and pink thing going on here. Um, I'm going to leave these two random. So we've got a blue siding and another blue. Alright. Uh, this little bench here, let's randomize, I'm going to collapse those together. Randomize this, that's actually a really pretty fabric. And then we have pink. Okay, you know what? I actually really don't hate that. I feel like I could make that work somehow. Um, for, I guess we'll do windows next. Okay, randomize. Oh no. Okay, that's not a nice color to have every single window in the house be. So I'm gonna go ahead, drag and drop this around. I don't love this color. This is probably, oh wait, this window color is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, for the doors... Do I want to do all in one color or do I want to separate it? Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and we'll separate it. So I'm going to come back over here to this, the basic one here and randomize the two. Oh. Okay. Um. What is this one? I mean. Oh boy. Alright. This is a really interesting time. So let's just go ahead. Really loud vehicles. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and randomize everything that I possibly can throughout the house now. So I'll just go ahead and combine these two together. Alright. Uh, this I don't believe... Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. I didn't think you could recolor really it, but I wasn't sure. So I'll recolor really everything that I know that I possibly can. I will try and do... Ooh, actually, you know, that's kind of really cool. Uh, I'm going to combine these together. So now we have a fabric couch and the fabric bottom half of the couch. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do all the couches differently. I know that those two were originally the same color. But that's not as fun. So we'll just go ahead and keep on randomizing all of this here. Alright. So our living room definitely has a little bit of change to it. Um, we'll go ahead. I don't know if I can do anything with the lug. I don't think I can. No. Okay, so it doesn't change. That's fine. We can do the curtains. We'll come on over here. This could be an interesting one. Randomize that. Ooh. Okay, I don't hate that, actually. I don't love the pink metal, but that seems to be its favorite color. And then we'll come over here to the light and do this as well. Oh, what a vibe. Okay. Uh, so these two little tables, I'm going to, whatever this little one comes up with, I'm going to drag over to the big one as well. Just because I feel like that really only makes sense. Oh. Well, I mean, at least the two color schemes go together, but... I feel like that's going to stand out in a room full of chaos here. But okay, we'll drag that over. There we go. Um, I guess we can do the bookshelf next. So we'll go ahead and randomize that. So it looks like our bookshelves are going to be a dark bluey, purple sort of wood tone. And then, see if I can do this as well. Um, I don't have anything to collapse here. So we have blue, we have a pink sort of thing, and a green sort of vibe here. And then we'll randomize this. I don't hate that actually. And then, I don't know if this three colors doesn't look like it did. Okay. So the, for the floor, this is going to be the flooring of the whole house. Oh. Really? Okay. I don't know why it chose green, but that's apparently what we're going with. So let's just go ahead and drag this through every single room in the house that has the same flooring. This is not a vibe. I don't love this at all. But we will just go ahead and drag and drop it. Um, I really don't know how to make a green wood floor work, but I guess in this challenge it doesn't really matter now, does it? Okay. Put this down in here. Oh, goodness. Do I even bother because I didn't actually end up making these into closets at this point in the game? 
I guess I may as well. They're going to look a little bit out of place. Um, alright. We'll drag and drop. Why did that not change? Hmm. I don't know why that first one didn't change. Um, okay, so that one did. So I guess we'll go back and do the second one here. See if this works. Please work. That's all I need you to do. I understand why you wouldn't want to go to this color. And then for this room, I may as well do this really quick. Actually, that's really pretty. And orange. Okay, I don't hate that. That's definitely not the worst. Um, we'll do the same thing in here. That one's very, like, neutral. Uh, this bathroom, again, I didn't end up finishing it at this point when I apparently didn't save. So we'll just go ahead and randomize that. That's actually very pretty. I don't hate that. And then for a floor, what do we have? Let's see what it comes up with. Honestly, I'm not mad at it. Do I want to drag this over here and keep these the same? Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to do them different. I think it's going to be more fun to do both of these different. Oh. Okay. I don't love this flooring, but it's fine. I will click and drag that in here. Why did that not transfer over to both? That was supposed to. Okay. So that is the floor for this bathroom. We're going to go ahead and do the wall now. Okay. Oh, goodness. Alright, we'll click and drag that everywhere in here. Oh, my goodness. Um. Okay. I wanted to see something, but I think we're actually doing okay. Alright, so for the shower over here, so we have green, we have pink, and some multicolored tile. This door, I'm just going to combine it all and just do one. We also have pink. Um, the little cabinet over here, we have purple and pink. I mean, okay. And then for the bathroom counters... Uh, we have a... Are those the same? I don't believe so. Alright, so we have green. We have green. And we have... Green. Okay. I don't know. I know that was the first, like, random color was, like, that orange, but I didn't change the fabric, or, like, uh, pattern of it, which is why I randomized it again. But, alright... I don't love this, and then our sink is blue and green, of course. Why would it not be green? Everything in this house is green or purple. Speaking of purple, now we have, actually, you know what, it's kind of a cool meal. But, I, I don't know. Um, alright, so toilet is this weird sort of color. I don't know what you would consider that. And then, I'm gonna leave, like, everything's on the counters alone. I will come over here and do the towels really quickly, though. If it decides that it wants to like me, there we go. And randomize is the last one. Oh my goodness, this house. Why did I decide to do this? Like, it is a lot of fun, but everything is green or purple. Okay, so now we can go ahead and move over here to the bedroom. And we will just randomize this here really quick. Actually, we'll do these separate. So we have a green and a brown. Alright, so I guess we're adding to the green of the floor with the walls. And is it whales that's on the walls? We have some... I don't even know what you... Okay, so I just dragged both of that over. I don't know what you would consider that for the night table, but it's there. So for the bed, we'll just go ahead and randomize these as well. Um, I, okay, so we have pink, we have purple, we have a nice little, like, neutral white color, and we have, of course, like, a green blue. Not surprised. Okay. Um, so for the pillows, which I believe you can change, I don't think I actually ever have, though. So we will just come in here, see what we got. So we have a, kind of looks like a similar cheetah pattern. I want to see if it actually changes before I go off to do, okay, so it's two separate, all right, and then we have, are those the same pattern, but different colors? I mean, I guess that kind of works. The blanket, I don't believe we can change, and then we will collapse this together, 
Oh, I guess they're not the same. So we have pink, we have blue, we have orangey yellow sort of color, and we have blue. So I'll go ahead and turn around so we can actually see what that looks like. Okay, you know what? It's actually not as bad as I thought. I feel like that definitely could have been way worse. Okay, that really didn't end up that bad. Uh, for the painting frame over here, we have green and orange. I don't believe I can change the runner over here. Okay, so I couldn't change the runner, but we're going to come over here. We'll do the pet food bowls. So we have purple. I feel like this is going to be the one spot that we can't go wrong. And we have a teal sort of rubber kind of color. Um, where do I want to go to next? I guess we should do doors. So we'll go ahead and collapse all of this into one. So we have a green door here. We have a, let's see, a, I don't even know what you would consider that. Uh, for this one here, it is, let's see, we have blue. And then this door over here is going to end up being another shade of blue. Okay. Okay. Um, so I think we're going to hop over here to the kitchen, and then I will get around to doing the walls and everything, but I figure, you know what, kitchen is the one, like, big area I have yet to do. So we're going to go ahead and randomize this. Ooh. Okay, so we have some blue brick as a backsplash. I don't hate that, actually. We have pink and purple. So the purple, I'm guessing, would be the bottom half that we can't see past the counters. Um, alright, so for our fridge... And to combine these together, we have, oh, okay, we have some fox and trees for our fridge. Honestly, it's kind of a weird vibe. Um, for the countertops, we will go ahead and do this as well. But I hope that you guys kind of like this video because I am having fun doing it. We have purple and we have green. All right, so I went ahead and dragged this all around. I'm not going to match the cabinets to the kitchen because I figure that, you know what, that's not as fun. So we're going to go ahead and drag this bright red sort of color around here. And then we will go ahead and randomize this. It is blue. Our stove is going to be red, pink, and patterned. Okay. For the sink over here, we have green and red and black. Um, and then for the stools, I will keep them all the same. We have pink and blue, so I guess we're going kind of cotton candy-ish with this, but honestly, this entire video so far has been absolute chaos, but in a really fun way, and I remember I was talking to Ashley about this like a month ago, whenever she figured this out, I was like, I have a video idea for this, and finally, I'm making it come to life. Um, I'm going to see. I don't think I, I can really color these. Oh, so I can, but it's not very much of a change. Okay, I'm going to switch that over so that we can get like a proper change because I don't love that. But really quickly, I'm going to hop over here to the dining room. So we have a blue table with pink legs. And then I'm going to do all the chairs, I think, different colors. I feel like that's going to be more fun. So we have this gray sort of style pattern chair. We have a blue chair that kind of matches with the actual set. And we have another patterned, kind of like lucky clover sort of pattern, maybe. Uh, this curtain over here is gray and blue. And then we'll hop over to the wall quick as well, because I have yet to do that. And we will get a, okay, so that's kind of like a cream blue color, a green, and a pink. I guess that's kind of like a pinky red so there's a wall color. I have to go ahead and drag that over to the rest of the house over here because I don't want it to be like two separate colors. So let's put this here. All right. I'm going to leave my column the white as it came. And then we have over here that I have yet to do. So we'll randomize this. So we have some hearts. We have a brown and a multicolor at the bottom. Okay. Did I miss anything other than the kitchen floor? I think we're good other than the kitchen floor. So we'll go ahead and hop in. Um, we'll just like put down, I don't know, 
just this like one that I normally use and then I will go ahead and really color it really quick so that we have a proper change because I feel like that's a lot more fun so we are like ending up with looks like we're going with this pink sort of tile so there is that it kind of matches with the kitchen countertop which is kind of interesting and then I guess we could do the garbage can so we have like a gold and a pink peachy pattern. I don't know if I can change this, but I can try. Um, we have a pattern. We have another pattern. And another pattern. So I don't really see much of a change there, but that's perfectly fine. But I guess that's what we're ending up with whenever you let the Sims 3 create a style design a home. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you already subscribed, want notifications when I post, you can go ahead and hit that bell. And I will see you all in my very next video. Let me know if you want to see some more of these, and I will see you all next time. Bye, lovelies.